delighted, I think I speak on behalf of UK startups when we say uh, this is a huge relief and we can look our teams in the eye at nine o'clock in our all hands calls, which we're going to be pretty uh, nerve wracking this morning and say, not only will we be able to make the next payroll, but we can continue business as usual, continue innovating, doing our research and development and, and building you know, the future, hopefully, of UK technology growth. We have been poring over the detail around this HSBC rescue, uh, stepping in, uh, buying uh, SVB UK for one pound. And we've seen from some of the numbers that uh, deposits at the bank, 6.7 billion pounds, uh, that exceeds the loans of 5.5 billion. Are you confident now to keep your money with the new entity, with the HSBC? HSBC is a great outcome. We've been banking with them in, in Hong Kong for several years as well. Um, you know, to, for, for the bank to go to a really large household name that, that has you know, got hundreds of years of history, I think is one of the best outcomes we could have had to feel like we can now stay with the new SVB, which has been such an important partner to the startup ecosystem here and in the US for, for decades now. So but, but we feel like confident But if you like HSBC that much, why didn't you just bank with them to begin with? When, when you're a small startup, you're looking for a bank that understands the, the unique nature of what you're doing, which is raising capital from investors that you're then deploying into research and development, sometimes for several years before your first revenues arrive. Large banks like HSBC typically, until now, haven't offered products that really suit startups. Um, Silicon Valley Bank has always been really good at doing that. For example, Silicon Valley Bank has invested in 60% of you know, some of the US uh, climate subsectors of startups very, very early on, you know, investing in the future of climate change. And you know, as our company has matured over the years and built up revenue to be able to go to HSBC and uh, create accounts with them to store parts of our cash. But, you know, in the early stages of, of early research and development, early AI development, etc., uh, Silicon Valley Bank has been a uniquely well-positioned partner. Do, do you get worried at all then, Toby, that now with HSBC then taking over those operations, um, does it change the way they'll have to look at the tech sector particularly, especially startups? And because of a perhaps slight lack of experience in that regard, they may not necessarily have the tools to kind of ensure that there's a big boost in that tech startup space. Uh, and you may uh, find yourselves in a folly because of it. Do you, do you fear that because of this change that there might be a change for your business too? What I'm hearing this morning is that HSBC are already five minutes after the news broke uh, making contact with the leading VC firms in, in, in Europe and having conversations with them about how they can best support portfolios in the early stages and later. Yeah. So, you know, the early news is, is very, very positive that HSBC is not just buying an asset here, but also uh, trying to open a, you know, a new avenue into being the, 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 you know, the key name, the key partner to, to early stage startups. Does this change overall, and, and not just with HSBC, but in general, just your sense of, of, of where you kind of uh, lay your eggs at this stage uh, as, as an entity? I mean, Silicon Valley Bank, as you said, was reputable, had uh, understood your business model or the business model of tech startups as well for, for quite some time. You know, does this change the way you think about banks now and, and who you actually interact with? I think lessons have certainly been learned by uh, our sector. Um, when you're an early stage startup, the one thing you expect not to fail is your bank. You know, we're taking a lot of risk as entrepreneurs. Yeah. That's the bit we expect to be solid. Um, you know, for me, the lesson I'm learning from this is, is we have to think about diversification as our business matures um, and think about you know, diversifying our cash across different entities. However, when you're an early stage startup, you're in a fight for survival every single day. And I don't think that you know, a team of three people or five people or 10 people has got the capacity to run a treasury team that's managing 10 bank accounts. So you know, the news that SVB is going to a, a large, well-established household name like HSBC, See.